Hello. So they claim Minnesota claimed D'Angelo Henderson today. He is a running back. He was drafted in the sixth round by the Denver Broncos back in 2017. And he was signed to the practice squad of the Jets in 2018. So that means he has experience with both Rick Dennison and Gary Kubiak. Not bad so far. Now, for those who don't know about D'Angelo Henderson at all, what I do know is like I have a little player blurb for those who are interested, of course. But he isn't the biggest back. He's only five foot seven, two hundred eight pounds. But he does kind of have a compact body build to him, so he does generate some power. And he is a decisive runner, so the fact that we are now running this zone running scheme is kind of a benefit to him as he kind of fits that a little bit more. And he could be someone who could potentially compete for third downs, I would say, as he does have some decent pass catching skills and at least has the willingness to block. So there is that. He does have some giddy up as well. Um, running a 44840 back at the combine, which isn't bad. And obviously this comes at the expense of uh, Rock Thomas in a way, but they also uh, waived safety today, uh, Abernathy, who was signed as an undrafted free agent after this past draft. But Henderson obviously has familiarity and he's like, go over running back. So they bring him in, get rid of the safety which could maybe mean they've seen some good things from Marcus Epps, perhaps. But he does face some of the same issues Rock Thomas did just in general because now he kind of has the same uphill climb that Rock Thomas did, which is the crowded backfield, which is Minnesota's backfield right now. Because you have Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison, uh... Amir Abdullah, Mike Boone, and if you want to include a fullback, you have C.J. Ham in that mix as well. So, and I could see them maybe keeping four backs at most just because Dalvin's um, availability, or I guess inavailability, if you want to look at it that way, because he hasn't been able to stay on the field, you could look at maybe they want some extra backs on the roster just in case because... He hasn't proven that he can't, you know, stay healthy. And I would have to assume both Cook and Madison make the roster without a doubt. And then you're between Boone, Abdullah, or Henderson will likely be just on the chopping block there. And I'm also assuming CJ Ham makes it just because he's the one of them that has the fullback versatility. So my... My personal bet would just be Henderson would be the one on the cutting on the cutting end of this. Just because I think you might be able to stash him on the practice squad and kind of hide him there. And maybe you can potentially keep all of them that way if they like him. So, and even if D'Angelo Henderson is picked up, I doubt there's much being lost here. As I think he would be more of just a third down change of pace back anyway for the most part. And for one... If you guys want them, I do have his career numbers, which are eh, not the best. He's played two years so far. He only has nine rushing attempts for 32 yards. And that's a whopping 3.6 yards per attempt and a long of 13. He does have two receptions on two targets for 36 yards and a touchdown, which came on a 29-yard screen pass. So I, I wouldn't expect much from this, but he it was news. It did happen. So here you go. And I would expect him to kind of have a very similar feel to Rock Thomas in general. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'd like to know what your comments are below on this other subject, whatever it may be. Um, but until next time, I've been you